life update for those who care i just took my house off the market and i'm going to tell you why before i get into this i want to make sure that i mention i am not an expert i'm just talking about what i've seen in my neighborhood okay now before we get too far in the video it might make sense for me to give you some context right well, my name is Warrell Thomas. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in the state of Georgia, and I make videos just like this one to help make your next move your best move. Now, from time to time, I like to get lost in the rabbit hole, scrolling through TikTok, and I really like watching videos about people's experience with purchasing or selling a house. So in this instance, I ran into this page. It's called Life with Kiki underscore. Give her a follow if you haven't seen her content. She's very vulnerable in regards to her life experiences. And in this case, she's talking about the troubles she's had with selling her house. Let's continue. I listed my house 23 days ago, and at the time, there were only two houses for sale. Both of them had been sitting on the market for a little over 30 days. As soon as I listed, four more houses for sale, including my neighbor. And since then, there's been two more. I don't like competition. So I took my house off. All right, so a couple of things I wanted to touch on here because she mentioned that she took her house off the market after 23 days and she don't like competition. Now, what this tells me that there may not have been a conversation between her and her realtor before putting her house on the market to help set expectations. Before I get too far into that, let's just watch a little bit more of the video. But that's not the only reason. I started going just a little bit outside of my neighborhood to see how long those houses were sitting. 75 days, 89 days. Your girl know how to take a hint. If houses are not selling and they're sitting, I'm not about to have the house on the market right now. It's just not a good time, obviously. All right, so a house being on the market 75 or 89 days in today's market, is actually not a bad thing. That's pretty normal. See, a lot of people are spoiled by the COVID era when homes were selling in less than 30 days. That's not a normal thing. That ha That's a once in a lifetime opportunity that we had for a short amount of time. I mean, during that time, mortgage rates were historically low. So everybody was going out buying a house and then there just wasn't enough homes for sale. So every house that was selling was selling pretty quickly over the asking price. So in a normal market, it takes about 60 to 90 days to sell a house. And I just looked it up for the Metro Atlanta area in 2024, the average days to sell a house is 59 days. The other thing I wanted to touch on is that Kiki mentioned that she don't like competition. So it's obviously not a good time to sell her house. If that's the case, you might be in for a rude awakening because we're only gonna see competition from here on out. So. Everything is based off of these mortgage rates, right? Now, we're kind of in a situation where we're going to see more competition, whether they go up or down. And here's why. If mortgage rates continue to go up, then a lot of buyers are going to continue to stay on the sideline. And it's just going to take a little bit longer for them to go out and purchase. Meanwhile, you're going to have more and more sellers that want to sell their house. So that's going to create more competition. Now, if the mortgage rates go down, it's kind of the same thing, right? Yes, you're going to have more buyers in the market, but you have a lot of sellers right now who have mortgage rates under 5% and they're just waiting for those rates to come down so that they can put their house on the market. So we're going to have a lot more inventory at that point. So what you need to understand is that you're going to have competition. It's just about how you market your property to have your property stand out so that you can find the offer that you're looking for and be realistic with your home price. So a lot of issues that I'm seeing today is that home sellers are pricing their house as if this was 2021 and 2022 again, and that's just not the case. So homes are selling today, but not just as fast and overpriced as they were in 2021 and 2022. So I started doing some research because I'm thinking I can't be the only person going through this. I ended up finding this article. Two states where home prices are falling because there are too many houses and not enough buyers. They are talking about Florida and Texas. Now the experts say that we're not gonna have a housing market crash, but it looked like it. So anyway, I'm just gonna wait until after the market cools down a little bit and then I'll try again. Kiki, I commend you doing your research as you should, especially if you're trying to figure out why your house didn't sell and you're not getting any feedback on it. But there's a couple of things I just wanted to make a note of in regards to the information that you found. So Texas and Florida may not be the best states to compare to Georgia. Here's why. Florida got a lot of insurance and hurricane issues, which is causing a lot of people to either not buy a house there 
or they just simply can't because insurance companies will not assure a lot of the houses there. Texas, they've been building a lot of houses, but they just don't have the demand for buyers that the way that Georgia does. So I think the biggest thing here is just understanding how the market is right now today and just being able to set the expectation that your house is not going to sell in 30 days. It may just depending on where you live. So for example, those areas that have those top notch school zones, those areas are seeing homes sell in less than 30 days and above asking price as well. Next, you mentioned that you're waiting until the market cooled down. Baby girl, the market is cold. So there's not a lot going on in the market right now. It's not necessarily a crash, um, but it's definitely not a hot market. But my question to you would be, what is the perfect market? Because if you don't want any competition, like we were seeing in 2021 and 2022, then something catastrophic have to happen, like COVID again, where they dropped the mortgage rates and a lot of sellers didn't want to sell their house. So there wasn't a lot of inventory where every house was selling pretty quickly. And my second question would be, why not keep the house on the market? The truth is your buyer might be out there. It's just not coming as fast as you probably want it to. I hope I was able to provide some meaningful insights in this video. Kiki, thanks for being an example for me. And as always, stay tuned so I can help make your next move your best move.